Hey guys, Aaron here. Uh, I just want to do a quick video on the uh, the new Call of Duty uh, trailer reveal bullshit, whatever that was supposedly leaked. Um, this is my second time doing the video because I was doing it and then I watched it again. And I noticed a few other things, so I'm not gonna um, have it up. I'm just gonna have like the potential front cover or um, just the logo in general. So the game is called Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, um, which to me is a stupid fucking name. Um, Modern Warfare makes sense. It's kind of obvious, but it, it makes sense. Black Ops was Black Ops Operations. Makes sense. What the fuck? Advanced? Like, I just didn't fucking like the name. It's just a name. I just didn't fucking like it. I didn't like Ghost either, but then again, I didn't buy that game because I'm smart. Uh, so, getting, getting on to the, the main point of the game. Essentially, we knew going into this, this was going to be about private military contractors. Because uh, it was all over the fucking reveal shit. They were like, oh, we're going to reveal it in a few days. And they're like, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll reveal it now to be crafty. Like, you're fucking giving us money. Uh, essentially, Kevin Spacey's in it, who's the bad guy from Horrible Bosses. He's in, he's in the Netflix show House of Cards. And a few other films that I haven't seen because I don't watch much of him. But I know of him, and he is a good actor in Horrible Bosses. I thought he was very, very good. So, essentially, you are... He's the head of a corporation called the Atlas Corporation, which very, very, very sounds like the Atlas Titan from Titanfall, but, I mean, I'm sure they didn't do that coincidentally. Uh, and he's the owner of this, this this military corporation. And essentially, he wants to use it. He's the most high, He's the, got the most money. He's in control of uh, this huge military corporation. Essentially, he wants to take over the world. And you're part of his corporation. So my and so before we get into it, my guess is the story is you are part one of the, in a squad who are in this corporation, and essentially you're going to get bought out by someone else because pretty much these contractors are like mercenaries. Pretty much you pay them, they'll do a job. Someone else, but you go do that job, and someone else, the person you're supposed to kill pays you more. You're going to turn your ass around. Go back to the guy that sent you and kill him because that guy gave you more money. Mercenaries aren't in it for the, the, the nation or whatever. They're in it for the money. So my guess is you get bought out or this guy, you realize this guy's going to take over the world. You don't want him to take over the world and you basically become like resistance members of your own fucking company and you have to take down your own company. Kind of like in a way, um, I can't remember the film off the top of my head, but it, it rings a bell. It was a sci-fi film, but um, I can't remember. But uh, getting into the trailer, there's a lot of crazy shit going on. People are jumping with jetpacks and shit. Titanfall-ish. Um, there's ex I didn't know what they were. They were called exoskeletons. They're basically metal things. Just out of Elysium or some video I saw. Elysium, some guy said. What the fuck? It's Elysium. Sorry. But it's Elysium. Uh, I haven't seen the movie, but I know he wears the exoskeleton thing. Which essentially gives him super strength and all this shit. So, um, there's that. There's also these visors that come down on this guy's face that makes it look like Robocop, kind of. So essentially, to me, it looked like they were taking elements from all these sci-fi films and some games and putting it together in a kind of Call of Duty setting. Um, you're going around the whole world. It mostly takes place in America. Uh, the Golden Gate Bridge gets fucked up in San Francisco. How that happens is probably a terrorist fucking organization or something. Typical Call of Duty plot, you know. Um, the exoskeleton uh, allows you to jetpack, kind of like uh, Titanfall. Uh, I didn't see any wall running, but if that was there, I would have gone, okay, bullshit. There is apparently a mech in the fucking game, which made me go, wow. Okay, this is either a huge coincidence, or you guys are really fucking run out of ideas and you went, huh, fuck it. Well, these guys would have made this fucking game if we did, they didn't get fired. Maybe we should use these ideas. Um, I'm sure it is, and it's just coincidence, but, you know, you can't help but fucking think, notice it and think about it. Uh, what else is there? Uh, Elysium Exoskeleton. The visor looked like it was from Robocop. The uh, Titanfall thing with like the, the, the mech. The jetpack, it looked like it was from uh, thing, the Super Strength and shit. I really don't know what the fuck they're going to do with the multiplayer. This is only single player, we all know that. But everyone seems to only give a shit about the multiplayer. We still don't know if they're even doing a fucking survival thing. I mean, fuck, jump on the bandwagon, Sledgehammer. You might as fucking well. Okay, Trail did Zombies. Brilliant. Extinction. half assed From the people that ruined Tony Hawk and ruined Guitar Hero. Great. Now they're hopefully going to kill off fucking COD. Or at least Infinity Wars COD. So then we'll be one fucking less tumour in the gaming industry. Uh, then we have... So, so what the fuck could you do with this? I don't know. 
Mechs? Fucking no. It's it's stupid. I don't know. It, it looks interesting. Now, I, I, it sounds like I'm bashing on this game. It looks good. I'm actually looking into this. I'm actually like, okay, I want to see more on this before I make a final decision. At the moment, it's a maybe. And I think that's most people's reaction right now. They're kind of like, it's a maybe. i tell you one fucking thing, though. The response has been a lot more fucking positive than when Ghost was revealed. When Ghost was revealed, we got fucking arms and hair on the arms and fish and a fucking dog. And the minute I fucking saw that, I said, this is going to fucking suck. And everyone in my college and uh, who knows me and everyone who uh, I know personally, just pretty much who plays Call of Duty, pretty much went, oh, Aaron, you're just saying that because it's Infinity Ward. To which I understood because I can't fucking stand Infinity Ward. I didn't like Modern Warfare 2, but I grant that the now respawn had, you know, good ideas and good intentions. They would have been able to patch it if they weren't fired. Uh, what's left of the company is fucking shit. They, they, are, they have no idea what the fuck they're doing. They have no ideas of what to innovate with the game. The what is the most memorable character in Ghost campaign? Do you know any of the ghosts? No. You only you only fucking remember Riley the dog. That's the, all I fucking heard. Was, oh, by the way, there's a dog. There's dog, 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 dog. There's a fucking skin pack for the dog to look like a wolf. What more evidence do you need that the main character isn't even our own fucking species? Like, fuck me. I'm not going to get into a ghost rant, but I don't give a fuck about next the next Infi any more Infinity War games. I avoided ghosts. I played the multiplayer demo. It was okay, but I, after the free, it was four days long. After the third day, I didn't play it the fourth day at all because I didn't give a fuck. I was done with it. I was like, well, I'm uh, like 16 was the top level. I was like, oh well, I'm done with it. Whatever. It was boring. It, it got fucking boring. Did I, was I good at it and did I enjoy it? Yeah, I got about four or five fucking maniacs. But I didn't care. It was, it was, and it was uninspired. It was boring. It was everything I hate about FPSs. Now, I love FPSs. It's my favorite genre. But it's everything I have come to hate about them. Un, uninspired, unfinished, and just, there's no, no fucking pizzazz to it. It was just plain, boring, vanilla shit. It's the best way to describe ghosts. Um, at least with this new trailer, it's creative. There's these sci-fi elements. If I have to say, if I'm gonna make a, if I was to make a film or a game, fuck it, I would go sci-fi. Go sci-fi. Go balls to the wall. Make up shit. Be as creative as possible. Creativity can be huge with sci-fi. You can make up anything. They went with World War II, they couldn't really do much. They had to go, they had to stay by the rules, they had to say, well, this is this, this is, unless they do what Wolfenstein the New Order do, and they go, oh, it's an alternative reality, and they're in the 1960s and shit. That's fair enough, but I don't, I don't think they would have done an alternative fucking reality. Um, so, what is the best thing I like about this trailer? The exoskeleton looks interesting. The graphics, if they are truly Xbox One, look good. Um, and they might debatably look a little bit better on PS4. Definitely PC. But debatably a bit better on PS4. Depends on if they're making this game for Xbox. Or are they making it for PS4 now? Because they're making it for next gen. And they're going to sell it for 360 and PS3 and PC. But they're making it for Xbox One and PS4. My question is which one is it? Between those two. I really want to know that. Is the game being designed for PS4? Because it's easier to program. And to develop games for, or is it because Microsoft has paid you guys for the map packs till the next Infinity War game comes out, and you're gonna do that shit? Now, to be honest, will I get? The, my question is, will I get this game? Possibly. The thing is, it, it, it's really a surprisingly difficult decision for me to rate this trailer. I'm gonna rate it a seven, and the reason for that is there is so much creativity in it. But at the same time, there's this old fucking shit of explosions, destruction. I mean, it's Call of Duty, I know, but, I mean, you. I understand you want to appeal to the old school fans who like the shit like that, but the, the, the one thing I have to say is, the thing you should have fucking done was a multiplayer reveal. That Everyone plays the multiplayer, that's why people buy it, and then trade it in a fucking month later and you've got your money, it doesn't matter. That's why people buy your game, for the multiplayer. So, I hate the fact that they wait till, like, the last fucking minute to show off the multiplayer. Like, you've pre-ordered it, you've got your fucking shit in, two weeks before the game comes out, oh, here's the multiplayer you're going to be playing. So, if you don't fucking like the look of it, you're fucked, pretty much, unless you cancel your pre-order, but usually by then it's too fucking late. I don't even know if you can cancel I don't know, but... Um, so, I'm going to give it a 7. It looks decent. It looks decent. 
and I, I can see the creativity and the and the uh, the ideas and shit that they can that uh, Sledgehammer Games has. They clearly have a vision, and they clearly have a lot of good ideas, and they want to innovate. They want to do some big shit for COD. They want to fix COD. They want to sort shit out. The guy who's doing the maps apparently is very active on Twitter, and he is literally plays every single COD. Pretty much 24 fucking 7. So this guy knows what a good map and a bad map is. And he talks to the fans and he says, what's your favorite map? What's your least favorite map? Why is this your favorite map? He looks at where the action's happening. Where where the windows and shit are. He looks at this shit. So this guy, you've got a lot to deliver. If it's a guy. I heard it's a guy. You got a, you or her, she or he has a lot to deliver. These could be... Very good fucking maps. Infinity Ward makes some good fucking maps, except for Ghosts. I played well, out of the three I got in the demo. Warhawk was anyone I liked. Um, so, fingers crossed these guys can make some good maps. The maps will be good. Uh, Respawn made some good maps with Titanfall. There's only one or two I don't like, but that's usually the case with every multiplayer game. There's always going to be one or two you don't like. But uh, in general, I have good feelings about it. There's cloaking and shit in this game. So, hopefully they don't bring that fucking shit into the game. It literally look like uh, it does look like Timefall meets Robocop meets Elysium meets Black Ops 2. It literally looks like all these sci-fi things coming together. Is that bad? No, I love sci-fi, but I couldn't help but look at it and go, well, that's from that, that's from that, that's from that. that that's all I was, that's all I'm saying. It looks promising, it looks good, I look to, I hope to see more on it. Once I've seen the multiplayer... And this possible survival mode that I guess they might have. They haven't talked about anything to do with that. Maybe they're just focusing on the multiplayer and the single player. Might be a good fucking thing if the multiplayer... If, if the multiplayer is good, I could give a fuck less about survival. If you're going to say, look, we're going to focus on the multiplayer to have a good thing. But they haven't focused only on multiplayer because they've done a single player. Um, that's why Titanfall's multiplayer is probably so fucking good. Because they've practically focused like 95% resources on it. And then the other 5% was the voicing for the campaign. I'm using quotation marks because it was barely a campaign. But... Essentially, it is a, a. It looks good. I'm looking forward to seeing more on it, um, and I will let you guys know if I will pre-order it. And I, re I will recommend whether or not you pre-order. There's this guy I follow on YouTube, Arch Nemesis 06, I believe his name is. I think it's like Arch Nemesis. To type that in, he's basically a down to earth, speaks his fucking mind guy. And he literally said, "Let's be optimistic for this new COD by Sledgehammer. We've never seen them officially do something. They probably had a lot of the innovation parts of Modern Warfare 3, like you know the the, the proficiencies, like you can kick, the damage, the you know, all of that, and uh, the weapon 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 level with it leveling up. And they finished the single player. They didn't really do a huge deal, but what they might have potentially done is huge because you've seen what Infinity War can fucking do on their own. They can't do a fucking thing with ghosts. So." I feel we should give these guys a chance. And I'm going to probably give them a chance if this multiplayer looks good and there doesn't seem to be too much bullshit like cloaking and fucking shit like that. That's all I fucking need. Is some, like that thing he rolls out in the trailer. That's all I fucking need. Someone rolling that fucking thing out with cloaking, hiding behind their head glitching, fucking trade it in. Or n not pre-ordering. If there is any of that shit in the game, uh, if you roll the cover... It better be a fucking wide open area. You better not be able to put that near a fucking window or a doorway. Because I will fucking not buy it. I am not... I know what the people are going to do. Because I can fucking second guess COD players. That's all I'm saying. They're predictable fuckwits. Uh, so I'm not doing it if that's in the game. Cloaking as well. Not fucking doing it. That's the last thing I need. Walk in a room. Okay, it's clear. Dun -dun -dun. Oh, what the fuck was that? Some guy sitting in the corner. Hiding cloaked. With a fucking suppressor. Now, it's, it's somewhat annoying and timeful when someone's cloaked, but they're more obvious to see, and usually they have a, and the, you know, the suppressor takes a few kills to get, and when you shoot, the cloaking goes. So if they can balance that right, the maps are good, this campaign looks interesting at least, I'm going to say that, more than fucking Ghosts was. Um, so I'm going to be optimistic, like I said, look for the trailers, look for more, the multiplayer will probably be revealed approximately October, my guess. Uh, and there will probably be a single player mission demonstrated at E3, which I'll look forward to. So, yeah. Um, that's the, it, it, look, it, it looked better than I thought it was going to be. It looked better than I thought it was going to be. I was surprised. But there is still shit I am optimistic about. Because I don't, it, it, on the, you can pre-order it on the game.co.uk site. They want 55 fucking pounds for the PS4 Xbox One versions. I said, are you fucking high? 55 fucking pounds for a game. Bad enough I'm having to pay fucking 50. That's my fucking limit. 
Yeah, and I know what you're going to say, oh, why are you buying an expensive edition of, you know, Watch Dogs? It's a fucking special edition. It should be more money. You're getting extra shit. I'm not paying 90 fucking pounds for the game. I'm paying 90 pounds for the game, the art book, the figurine, all this soundtrack, all this shit. I am not paying 90 pounds for a fucking game. You can fuck off. Special edition, fine. Fuck me, are they going to be a hard and a prestige edition with this? How much are they going to fucking be if that is 55? So, I mean, I've done enough. It's 15 minutes, I'm done. But... Fuck me. That's all I can say. So, fingers crossed this looks... It's, 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 it's going to be good. Fingers crossed. Uh, the multiplayer, I want to see more before I purchase. And maybe a survival mode. If there's a creative survival mode other than fucking... Oh, well, what else can we do besides zombies? Aliens. If there's better than aliens and zombies, then I'm in. Uh, maybe. Will I pre-order? Maybe. I might buy it first week it comes out if I don't pre-order. Depends if I've got the money. I'm... Probably going to get, uh, I've got money for another game, I need to get, I've got the money for Destiny, got the money for Wolfenstein, and I've got the money for Watch Dogs. Uh, I'm considering getting uh, either Evolve or Madden. Um, so I'm thinking which one's going to give me more replayability. I want to see a bit more in Evolve first, and uh, I want to see more of Madden at EA's conference. So I will talk to you guys later, thanks for watching and putting up with my bullshit for 16 minutes and however many seconds it's been so far. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, I believe we should be optimistic, so let's just keep that mood.